So my cupboards and stuff is a bit disorganized. We just came back from Jamaica, so it's fully stocked. I would love for somebody to tell me what this is because I have no idea. I really want to take out this because this is just for pretty and actually use this as a wine holder also. As you can see, I tried to pull it out and broke one, but they're somewhat organized, somewhat, but this drawer right here, a mess. Okay. So I really, let me turn it around. So I really wanted to organize um, my kitchen and cabinet. So that is what we're going to be doing today I'm turning on the lights so you guys can have good lighting i need to go get my tripod also so. a good tripod this is actually babe's office green screen and all This is actually to hold your spoon and stuff when you're cooking. This is a placemat so you don't mess up your counter with hot pots and stuff. And these are to use it. So all I'm doing here is just um, taking out the stuff, out the packages, putting together what needs to be put together. I actually really love this adjustable um, pot cover holder or lid holders a lot. This is from Amazon. And the reason why I love it is because it's adjustable. So whatever size or cabinet you have or drawer that you want to put this in, it will definitely fit because it's adjustable and it holds up to 10 lids also love the black so that's all i'm doing and after i do all of this then when i start lining my cupboards after i do all of this then i sanitize and leave everything out to get dried and then i'm going to start organizing and stuff like this this was a long process i think it took me two or three days because i had to line all the cupboard cupboards and also the drawers and where i keep my pots and pans so yeah
I got these mason jars to store all my my sorrel and um, what are they called? Herbs and stuff. Love these. Here's the before. So can I talk about how long lining these cupboards took? I guess because I wanted the liners to be exact and to be exactly matched in the cupboards i made sure i took my time i measured everything i would definitely suggest getting a white crayon or white marker to mark the line and then cut this it would make it a lot easier but i wanted precision so i guess that's why it took me so long to do all of this especially lining all the cupboards and stuff took forever so just know that it's going to take a lot of time and energy when you're lining your cupboards, but it's well worth it because your stuff don't move around anymore and I'm happy that it's organized. <laughs> And this bamboo drawer organizer goes perfectly with my cabinets. It goes perfectly with this drawer. It fits all my straws. It fits everything perfectly. I love this bamboo organizer because it's actually adjustable. So if you have a larger um, draw that you want to put this organizer in, it actually adjusts to be really really big and i love that so if i wanted to put it in a bigger drawer i could do so but this is where i like to keep my forks and spoons and stuff close to my plates and close to the stove where i share out my food <laughs>
And all I'm doing here is I'm just putting together these um, draw dividers. And these are the bamboo kinds. They are very long and also they come in a pack of six, which I really appreciated. I was looking for a pack of six or majority of them on Amazon. Majority of this stuff is from Amazon, comes with a pack of four and they're pretty easy to put together. So this is the adjustable lid organizer. I put it down here because I have very tall, um, large pot covers or pot lids. And I love that this have a notch in the middle to hold the top part of the lids and they fit perfectly you can or you i think you could also use this for plates if you wanted to and it's adjustable so it's a win-win So I'm just putting in my plates in this plate organizer. This actually fits perfectly in my cupboard. I will say though, if you're going to get this, you need to, or any plate organizer you online, you need to measure your cupboard. Uh, this was, this fit literally by the grace of God because I didn't do any measuring. I didn't do anything. I took a big risk order in this plate organizer but it definitely fit perfectly in my cupboard and a lot of these pots and plates and stuff not pots a lot of these plates and cups and stuff are going to be replaced uh i'll talk about that in another video because this video was extremely long but they're get definitely getting replaced i hate seeing the mix match plates and how a lot of the plates are broken and all of that 
So the next thing I'm going to do is in these mason drawers um, that I sanitized and cleaned, I am going to put my sorrel. I brought back a whole bunch of sorrel and stuff from Jamaica and I'm putting them in these mason drawer and then I'm going to label them. And I actually put these on the top of my cupboard as a form of decoration. It kind of looked really, really good with them on top of my cupboard and it labeled and everything. So these are my herbs that I came, that I brought back from Jamaica. I had brought back sawasap leaves. I brought back neem leaves. I brought back, we already had Cersei here and I brought back fever grass and I'm putting them in these mason jars. I'm also going to label them, but I'm going to put these mason jars in my cabinet that actually have glass and they looked amazing. So I bought these on Amazon for spices. If you actually want to put your spices in clear containers like this and label them just for aesthetic, just for them to look good in your cabinet, you can do that. But I just bought these for my seasoning that I brought back from Jamaica. 
and boy oh boy was these big these are 32 ounces i don't know why i thought i needed a 32 ounce container or maybe i thought these were going to be littler but they're not so that's what i'm doing now and then i'm gonna get into actually organizing the cabinets with my seasoning and i'll show you guys that in a minute So this is just my cabinet with my seasoning. I actually am not interested in putting a lazy Susan in here or spinning one because I don't have that much seasoning that is making this congested or anything like that. All I'm doing is making lines. So the first line is just my regular seasoning, Larry's Adobo regular seasoning. The second one is dry seasoning and that is my curry and my jerk seasoning jerk rub seasoning then i'm gonna do like my parsley and all of that and then i do my chili powder and then i just do my um my those two seasoning at the end i don't remember what they're called but i love them for beef and also for chicken and that's all i'm doing then at the top i'm just using wet seasoning this is where i put wet stuff so my jerk sauce goes in the front then i do my my sweet and sour stuff sauce that we use for stir fry or sweet and sour broccoli stuff like that then i'm gonna do my browning and all of that So I bought this organizer for the fridge because this section of the fridge is really tall and I felt like I could put um, two more organizer in there just for um, organization's sake. But quite honestly, I don't really recommend these. They're not the best. I The front part has a holder, but the the, not the front the back part has a holder that holds the drawers in but the front part does not have a holder so when you pull this drawer out to take stuff out it literally falls out so i would definitely not recommend these i didn't have the patience or time to send them back so we're just gonna make it do what it do i'm probably gonna have to buy two clips to clip on each side of these holders so when i pull out the drawer they don't fall out or everything that i have in them don't fall out so yeah that's a quick review on that i'll still link it if you guys want to try it though Since I'm here, I'll just let me close it. I'll just line these. Line them. It's not a perfect fit, it's a bit big. So I'm just lining the bottom of the drawers in my fridge. I've actually had this liner for a while and I will say it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite because I wish it actually had something to stick onto the drawers to keep them in place. And also because this is in a rolled up, when you try to cut it, to put it in the drawer it kind of sticks up because it's rolled into this thing so not my favorite it does the job but yeah
So this needs to be lined. That's already lined. These are lined. This is lined. The last one needs to be lined. This needs to be lined. That's already lined. And there's a space right there that needs to be lined also. I'm definitely going to line both all three of them. So one, two, three. And I'm also going to line this cover too. One, two, three. So I bought more liner and that is what we're going to be doing probably in three days because that's when I ordered. I ordered them from Amazon as usual. So they will probably come in three days and I will do I will do the rest of the lining then and finish organizing then. Anybody's wondering who wrote this? We have right them so we can't get flame to them right all oh, good. What is it guy? So all I'm doing here is finishing lining up the this cupboard that I needed to line and putting back the stuff in the cupboard. I'm actually going to switch out some of the stuff in this cupboard, but that will be for another video when I talk about all the new stuff that I bought as far as pot, as far as plates and wine glasses and cups are concerned. So stay tuned for that video. But so far, I love the herbs and all of that being in the bottom. It looks really good labeled in the mason jars.
so this is how everything looks lined and organized i hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope to see you in another mom vlog don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you here next sunday at same time same place and for another mom vlog i'll see you then deuces